Darcy here. Please excuse the mess behind me. We are in the middle of packing to move, so that's why all the boxes are right there. This video is a tutorial. I haven't done one of those in a while, so I thought it was about time for another one. And it's about how to draw these. The pictures that you just saw uh, before this were um, a picture that I drew, just a little hand study. I took pictures of my own hands and practiced trying to draw them as closely as I could to the original picture to make them look realistic. And that just inspired me to do this tutorial. Hands are not easy to draw, but they are so very interesting. Um, and so I thought I would give you guys a little tutorial on how to draw a realistic hand. And much of what you see in this video, once you know how to draw a hand realistically, it is pretty easy to figure out where everything should go when you're drawing a cartoon hand, like where the joints are, how the hand, how the positions should be to make it look the most natural. So knowing the basics first always helps with that. Alright guys, so first things first, I draw the base of the hand before I do anything else, which is basically just your palm. Um, and then from there, I draw little sticks to represent the fingers and the placements that I want them. And you can also add the little circles that you see in many of the how to draw books. Um, it'll help give the fingers a little bit more shape before you outline them. And if you can see, I gave each of them three little circles on all on the four fingers um, because they have those three little sections but then on the thumb I only gave two circles because it only has those two sections if you can't figure out how long to make the fingers just by looking at it something that helps is to measure the middle finger it is usually as long as the palm of the hand and then of course you put the wrist a little bit in from the sides of the hand and um, once you have that basic structure, then you can go ahead and outline your hand. It's important to get it right when you're outlining the hand, so go back and fix mistakes if the proportions don't look right or something, so that you can get an accurate outline. Something else to think about is which way the fingers are angled whenever the hand is in different positions, especially the thumb in this position, whenever the palm faces up. Um, it angles more towards the outside, so on the right here you see the thumb is a little bit more pointed on the right side because it's angled that way. So when you look at your hand, you will notice that where the knuckles are, it bulges out a little bit um, as you can see on my hand here so uh, try to remember to put that in the drawing fingers aren't a straight line they have curves just as most things on your body do when you're all done with your outline of course it is time to erase your guidelines so that you can begin with the details inside the hand I decided to show you how to color and how to shade your hands. So I just drew this line down the middle and I did shading on the left and coloring on the right. I started with the basic wrinkles that we all have on our hands, where the wrist bends, where the hand bends, where the knuckles are, and then I began shading. As you can see on my hand here, we all have a little dip in the center of our hand, in the palm and it causes there to be a little bit of a shadow there if the light hits a certain way and a highlight on the side and top of the palm of the hand and so think about this when you're shading your hand another place where there will be a bit of shadow is at the tips of your fingers where the pads are you can see it's a little bit pointy so there's usually a shadow just underneath that point of the finger. Something to think about when you're drawing realistically is to try not to leave too much of a solid outline that stands out from the rest of the picture. Um, for this hand, I tried to blend it out a little bit so that the outline would be smooth and just smoothly go into the center of the hand. Now if you're wanting to stylize and make the outline stand out, um, then by all means go ahead and do that. So here is the shaded half of the hand. I must say I am a bit out of practice because I've mostly just been coloring things for the past few years. 
but you guys get the basics and it is time to move on to coloring. So grab your colors and get ready. Um, yeah, you're definitely going to need a lot more colors than that. In every skin tone, there are many more colors than meet the eye. That's a lot better. So before you color, I strongly suggest that you erase as much of the outline as possible. Just leave a hint of an outline there because you don't want the dark line of the pencil lead to get mixed up with your colors. It'll, it just won't work. <laughs> I've learned from countless experiences with that. So I do like to color with the darker colors first, usually on the edges and um, just, you know, all the shadow places in the hand, like where the creases are. That way, whenever I use lighter colors, everything will blend out nicely. And for the picture I used, I did use a reference photo. Um, it was sitting right next to me as, as I was doing this. And I just looked carefully at all the colors in the hand and started placing them where I saw them. I just started out by making the hand really colorful. And later on you'll see that I go over it and everything gets smoother and looks a little bit more natural. But for now, you're kind of having a rainbow hand. I encourage you guys to practice seeing how many colors you can see in a reference photo or in your own hand. And um, if you want, tell me how many you found in the comments below. There are always more colors than you can so you see the hand has a lot of um, veins and tendons in it that stick out a little bit. So make sure you get those in there as well. So here's the colored side of my hand. I hope you guys learned something from this and I encourage you to go practice. Use your own hand or look up a reference picture or something and um, practice makes perfect. So thank you so much for watching guys and I will be back next week with another video. By the way guys, your girl has merch now. Um, I am on three websites. I sell on Etsy, um, Society6, and the third one isn't really a website. It's an app called PixApp. So I encourage you guys to go check that out and see what I have up for sale. Um, so yeah, it's kind of exciting.